As we approach the final week countdown for the Metapolitan's pre-sale, we have some more depth to go into on what this project is going to consist of. On the last video, we took you through a bit of a tour amongst the map that's in development. Now we're going to break down what they plan on doing within the ecosystem. Let's get into this. Now, before we begin, guys, please do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, guys. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell for me, please. And thank you. So, guys, let's get into Metapolitans. As you can see, the hype is starting to increase. They already got pre-listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko also with a Certic and a KYC completed, which we discussed earlier. May 1st is when the pre-sale is expected to begin. So you might be asking yourself, well, I want to know more about this jazz. What is this going to consist of? This is not financial advice. I think that what they're doing right now is a very good project. However, I advise you with all of the information that they already have available, do your own research, look at what this project is about, watch previous videos in the past. Other influencers have also done it. And if this meets your personal criteria, then by all means, make your own decision. My job is to show you guys what this is about. Now, here's their developmental roadmap. First things first, the beta metaverse launch followed by the customizable character metadata integration now in this phase is where they're going to be integrating customizable character metadata allowing users to personalize their avatars and create digital identities within the metaverse now if you remember the last video they already have a pre-selection of different characters you can choose from but now we know for sure that yes you are going to be able to characterize them and make them exactly how you want them to be now when the users join the server and create their own unique characters going into the metapolitan's world that character creation process generates metadata which is then converted into an nft representing that character and those nfts as you know can be bought sold or traded on the metapolitan's marketplace or even in other secondary marketplaces now keep in mind there is a limit of two nft character creations per ip address in the wallet and only a limited number of nfts will be available however those NFTs are free to create provided that the people hold a certain amount of the token. So now you see where holding these tokens will come in to play alongside participating in the metaverse and having your character created and using them as an NFT. By having the tokens, the maps tokens is what it's called, users can mint their own NFT characters and participate in the interactive economy within the metaverse. It was almost like an exclusive access if you're a holder of metapolitans and i think that's really smart because that automatically gives a call to action as to why people should be buying the token if they want to participate in what this project is working on next the very first video i had it titled as play to mint and now we're going to go a little more in depth about what the play to mint really is so play to mint is a code in the metaverse that will enable users to earn and trade the entities within the platforms now users can even earn special achievements and randomly receive wearable nfts for their avatars by actively participating and engaging with the platform now the nfts wearables can be traded exclusively in the metapolitan's marketplace once they have it some rare trait wearables may also be available on the market using eth usdc or the native token and now those wearables can also alter the metadata of the nft that you already created making your own character and that could also increase the value of that character that you have aka that nft also on the flip side decrease it all depending on the ranking of the wearable items that you got so depending on how you rock your character will also determine the value that you may potentially benefit from playing as them next on top of that there's going to be an nft avatar collection being launched where they're going to be releasing a collection of nfts that's going to be featuring unique avatars that people can collect and trade within that economy also we're going to be seeing the alpha metaverse coming out which is a more richer and polished version than the beta version that we originally saw because like i told you guys everything was at base level in terms of the graphics and everything and even that alone in my opinion is already significant in progress considering these guys haven't even launched yet matter of fact their pre-sale isn't even live yet and they've already got this much done already pre-listed on coin gecko and coin market cap ahead of the curve and that's what i like to see when it comes to new projects they're gonna have an nft marketplace within the game allowing people to buy sell and trade their digital assets using the platform's proprietary token now 
I assume maybe or maybe not, I'm not sure exactly, that may tie into that gallery. If you guys remember, we were in a bit of a museum during the walk around of the metaverse and we saw certain pictures on display in that museum wondering if perhaps that is also for the nft i've heard some people say that it is but that's something to keep in mind as well and all the while they also plan on developing a blockchain as well to support the metaverse and its token and they want to incorporate real-time billboard ad integrations guys they want to use real-time billboards within the metapolitan's platform bringing an additional revenue stream for the platform and now this is where things start to get a little more spicy they want to launch a land sale collection now this land sale collection is going to be a collection of virtual real estate within the ecosystem allowing people to invest in and own virtual land now we've heard bits of this happening back in 2021 i would like to see how this is going to be revitalized and enhanced with metapolitans and since these people seem like the type that have already been thinking far ahead of the curve planning far before they act i can only imagine that the land sale collection may very well be something that has a nice interesting twist that in which we may not have either heard of prior to or making it a lot more easier to get involved with it as opposed to other projects that attempted that and in the finale of this part of the developmental roadmap they would like to launch their blockchain and they even gave a bit of benefits as to what creating their custom blockchain for the metaverse would do for them and it goes as such one they can customize the features and functionalities increase security faster transaction speeds which that is true if they have their own blockchain governing their metaverse then faster transaction speeds would actually be pretty substantial and i think the best one of them all greater control and flexibility so by having a custom blockchain the play to mint metaverse developers will have greater control over the platform and they can make changes as needed just like a video game or even software like ios for example and then on top of all that the bigger picture behind this is just to have that potential for a broader range of adaption especially if they end up being successful in this custom blockchain now usually i always turn a bit of an eye when projects try to do blockchains but in this particular case they're doing one that's directly tied into their own metaverse so essentially they're literally creating their entire world within themselves all down to the blockchain the land sale collection real-time billboard ads their own marketplace guys so i like that they're taking this approach of knocking everything out the park to create a real deal serious ecosystem in which many people can not only enjoy themselves but more importantly benefit and gain value from participating in it excited to see what these guys have in store let's see what happens come time of the pre-sale going into the next month with that being said folks thank you so much for tuning in guys i'm jazz rose and like i always say i'm going to catch each and every one of you guys at the top